Guys, you may be wondering what I'm doing standing outside the Valley Indoor Swap Meet here in Los Angeles. Now, what lies inside the Swap Meet is a little restaurant that serves up amazing Haitian food. That's right, we're gonna be checking off another bucket list on today's video. Who has had Haitian food? Raise your hand. Okay, not me. And so I have no clue what to expect in today's video. So before we go inside to check out this restaurant, help me give a like, give me a subscribe to help support the channel. You guys ready for some Haitian food? Let's go check out this restaurant. All right guys, welcome back to the channel. I am inside the Valley Indoor Swap Me. And with me, with me is Bobby Solomon, founder, CEO, owner of Natural Foods, Bobby, I'm so glad that you're gonna be joining me today on this epic food adventure all about Haitian food. I have never had Haitian food in my life. So I am so glad you're gonna be sitting next to me, walking me through some of the most iconic dishes most in definitely. Haitian cuisine. Listen, y'all, listen, I'm ready to eat. Uh, and let's <laughs> give you an uh, amazing introduction right now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I like to hire him for next time. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Well, what's up, y'all? I'm Bobby OG. I am an artist, recording artist, and oh. entrepreneur, and all that. He's an artist as well. I mean, yeah. okay, I mean, I, I don't know what other types of art you're doing, but what I'm seeing right here, this looks like works of art already. Exactly. Okay? Works of art. They look nice in, in there. Oh, it looks look great. This, yeah. And Ooh, we, we, order, we order a bunch of things. Take a look at this right here. Look at it. Okay. You, you see it? Yeah. I see it. This is a fried goat. This is one of the most Haitian go-to, like you'll find that at like any events. Like your family, if your family cook this for you every day, that means they're rich. Yeah. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, you know, <laughs> make make sure make sure you got your pockets full before you uh, jump on this. Before one. you jump on this. One. All right. So we got like big pieces, or I would say bite-sized pieces of goat, and you got um, you got bones inside. You got red onion. Habanero mm -hmm. in here, spicy. little spicy. What else you got in here? I got a little, you know, a little vinegar base. Yes, yeah, because I could see, I could see the dressing down there, Let right? Me tell you that thing is about to talk to me. Come on, cut it out. Okay, it's a little crispy on the outside. Mm -hmm. Super juicy, super moist. Come on, description. And then. That vinegar kicks in. Exactly. Okay. That vinegar, it helps offset the fattiness of the goat. Exactly. Now let me try a little piece with you. I ain't gonna go too yeah. deep because I eat that every day because I make them. This is fantastic. I, I can almost eat this like appetizer. Appetizer. Mm -hmm. Right. Like parties, like when you go to parties, they normally have these like a little appetizer. You yeah. Come in, which you get that with a little plantain. Yeah. So you mentioned it's really great to have goat with plantain yeah. and surprisingly, we got some plantains right here. And they all boom. Yeah. <laughs> So the way you make this, these, yeah. you gotta fry them first. Like you peel them off, yeah. you chop them up like in two pieces the way you want them. Uh -huh. And then you put it into an oil, you deep fry them. Right? Really? And okay. then you let it cook and then you press, get some whatever you can press them. I normally use these plates, whatever I can find when I'm at home. Listen, you eat it with this. Now I get into the big please. Oh, Ooh, okay. Fuck. See, I'm dripping it. <laughs> So I see some like sprinkles of either salt. sugar or salt. Salt. This is salt. Salt. People add sugar on them too. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. Dip it yeah. in, in this. Okay. The way to properly eat this is take a piece of this plantain, mm -hmm. like soak it in this like um, this pickles. Say, pickles. Say the word. Yeah, pickles. pickles. Pickles, right? Pickles. And then, yep. then you can kind of fold this thing up, fold right? Uh huh. Almost like a miniature taco, exactly. and just pop it in your mouth. Oh yeah. Fire. Have you ever tasted them like that? No, this is spicy too. They, they, they only make them like they're in Haiti, bro. Oh my god. I told y'all, before he lived, I'm gonna change his life for life. Oh my god. This, I mean, it looks so simple. Maybe to me, okay. <laughs> to me, this looks like coleslaw. Coleslaw. This looks like regular plantain. But when you put these two in marriage, wonderful thing happens. Miracle thing happens. You gotta say, this is better than sex, isn't it? Why don't we check out um, one of the uh, must-have staples? Okay. Rice and beans. Rice and beans. I'm gonna eat it by itself just to see what the Let's flavor the is flavor. like. Yeah. And then I'm gonna add something else, okay? What kind yeah. of beans are these? It's like, this is red beans. Red beans, mm -hmm. okay, here oh, we go. The yellow beans. Why well, get yellow from red? <laughs> I mean, tell me about the spice. There's something that I can't 
it, there's you a spice. You put your finger on it? But I don't know what it is. Uh, I can't be giving y'all all my recipe now, because <laughs> I'm going to have to kill him after this. <laughs> oh, y'all agree? No? I want him to make another video? Yeah. Okay. You're just adding your own your flair blend. to like a very traditional exactly. Haitian staple right here. Most rice and beans. Yes. Okay. Now, the second way that we're going to do to okay. eat this is we're going to complement with something else. Something what do you else. think is really good to go with, the with this? The sauce. The chicken sauce. The chicken sauce. So it looks to me a little bit like a little gravy-ish. Mm -hmm. You got some onions in here. There's some... You know what this is made out of? You're going to eat some without even knowing what it makes out of? I don't of? even know what it is. I just want to oh cut... Oh my God, when you're going to die like that. This is called the poulang sauce? Yeah. Wow, look at that. You can see this is rich. And just like looking at this, I mean, it looks just like a perfect dip for something a little bit more dry, mm -hmm. right? Something that's looking for with some moisture. Oh, you know what? Is that celery? Celery. I found all that, all that, all that good, healthy stuff that give you all that, you know. Oh, that good. similar to the goat, right? Yeah. You got this like, is it pickled onion? Is that what it is? So this is like a little big onion that I made with vinegar base. So, you know, because sometimes when you fry the meat, the meat gets dry, especially if, that's you, right. if you have drivers waiting to come pick them up. Yeah. You always have to have a little bit of sauce when they come out the oil so it don't be too dry before it get to the owner. This. My friends, Ooh. look at that. Y'all never had chicken like this. I'm about to change your life. <laughs> Talk to me. Mm-hmm. Mm. Good flavors. I do taste the vinaigrette. <laughs> look at Bobby dancing. He's just mm -hmm. like, he knows I'm enjoying this dish. You okay? know when you, you look, when you let this, Food talk speak for itself. Mm -hmm. Look, I'm not gonna say any words after this. I'd be like, oh my god, I look fat today. I didn't take it to the gym today. You know, I didn't make it out today. You know, I ate too much. No, you can eat it all day, every day. You ain't gonna look at me, bro. And I eat this every day. So I'm going to just scoop up a little bit of this sauce and I'm just gonna drizzle over this chicken. Oh my god, look at the juice. Look at that, Becky. Life changing, ain't it? You'll never go back to old chicken no more. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get well wallet. Where your wallet? It's so good. Where your wallet? Give me it. <laughs> Where your wallet? Give me it. I'm that gonna get, I'm gonna so get his coins every day, y'all. He ain't gonna eat nowhere else. Boom. This is so good. I take a bite of the rice with that. Okay. I'm gonna chase it back. Yeah, mm. let's go ahead and do that. Chase it with this rice. Mm. There you go. Boom. Talk to me. Then it adds a different flavor to the food. That is such a great pairing. I'm telling you. That is such a great pairing. I mean, we haven't even made it through half all, of the thing half, yet. Yeah, half the things yet. And I'm telling you guys, if you've never tried Haitian food and you've never tried Bobby's creations, you owe it to yourself to come here immediately. Exactly. And I'm not exaggerating because it looks very simple. It looks like things that you might think about when you're having like Mexican food or other Latin food. Mm -hmm. But no, it might look similar. It tastes completely different out of the world. What is this ah, right here? They call now, this legume. Legume? Yeah. I've heard this dish before. I've heard of it, I've never seen it. You smell it? I, sm I mean, yes. Mmm. Spice. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Something with meat and something with seafood. Seafood. Meat and seafood. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that makes sense because do you I think don't that's know. that's a bad combination? Or you think I think a... it's gonna be a great combination. Okay. okay? Just now, so here, here is what I see. I got some uh, crab. So this is something like you can, like your parents can cook this like probably on a, on a Sunday, a weekend, a weekend like yeah. another weekend, so Saturday. My, my mom normally cook it on Saturday. Yeah. And stuff, and it, it be, I love this dish and people like it differently. You can eat it with this rice. Like I'm, I'm, any rice here, you can eat anything here with any of these rice. Okay, so I'm going to just pick up this snow yeah. crab first. Just show you guys like how this big is, this piece is. Yeah, then this is not any typical seafood seasoning, none of that. So really? Let you tell them. Go ahead. Okay, here we go. Mmm. That bit juicy in it. Mm. Yes, sir. It's juicy. Yes, sir. It's meaty too. Yes, sir. I feel like I'm not just like biting into a whole bunch of shell. There's juicy crab meat in there, and the sauce. I mean, I don't know what you're pairing this with in, in in your magical creation in here, but it just goes so well. It goes so well. And guess what's in here? Like the, This is like the uh, vegetable meal. This has spinach. Spinach, okay. Yeah, it has watercress. It has green beans. Yeah. Okay. You 
it the difference between this goat and that goat you're in? This one, I don't even need teeth. <laughs> Telling you. I don't even need teeth. It's just, it literally just disintegrated the moment I put it in my mouth. Yeah. Like it just, it's it like melts in your mouth, yeah. Melts in your mouth. And what a great way to just like have your veggies. I'm a little thirsty, so I want to grab something to drink, right? What should I get right here? I'm gonna, okay. Bobby served me this, this, this thing right here. This yeah. tea, right? Yeah. And it's a traditional Haitian cuisine. Haitian tea, yeah. Haitian tea. What is this tea here? They're called chili, don't spill it. Chili, don't spill it. Is yeah. that what it's literally called in, in Chili, don't spill well, I call it that. Oh, you call it that. Okay, yeah. that's, that's Bobby's flair. That's my <laughs> name for it. That's my name for it. Okay, chili, so I'm gonna try this. It's nice and cold. Got some ice in here. Yeah. Come on. Ooh. See, right now you in a whole different continent. No, not a continent. I'm in a different world. <laughs> this is your own creation. Yeah. You gotta okay. You gotta like bottle this up and then get it to some it? like get it to some like ethnic supermarket and just. Oh man, I'm coming. Okay. And just like Been sell it. You. Sell it. I mean. This thing is so refreshing. It's something I've never had. It's not too sweet. It's just the right amount of sweetness. Yeah. And what the, the first flavor that I get is star anise, which I've never had uh, in any type of like drink. Really? Star anise. Wow. See? I'm telling you it's one time for everything. I told you I got you. That is so good. You gotta come here more often though. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna come here. Now the second the second thing that we got right here is like a passion fruit drink. Yeah. Okay. I'll say the name in Creole. You said the English uh, name for it. Jiganaja. Jiganaja. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I give you an E for effort. Okay, E for effort. So this is basically like a passion fruit passion drink. Passion fruit, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna let him try them because yeah, I've been drinking these things forever. So I'm tired of the taste and stuff. Oh, it's so good. It's, it, it tastes so fresh. It tastes like if I am literally lying on the beach uh -huh. in Haiti, just sipping on my cocktail, sipping on these types of tea, and I'm just like enjoying the sun. Exactly. Oh exactly. my God, it's so refreshing. Bobby, you're saying there's another way to eat this rice right here, right? The legume. Yeah. And basically, you're saying add a little bit of the this beans sauce. Beans gravy. Beans the gravy? Beans, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna add some beans gravy onto this white rice right here. Yep. And- Your crab's got issues. No, I'm gonna, got, I'm gonna go for this right here. There you go. Oh, Ooh. look at that scoop. <laughs> Okay, this with the rice, fire, fire, I'm telling fire. you, fire, oh my god, I'm telling you, friend, I'm changing your life right now, ain't it? Yeah, you're changing my, you're blowing my mind, okay, I've been doing this for two years, really? there, there are only a handful of select foods and cuisines that I've had that really blow my mind on the very, very first try, okay, your restaurant is one of them. Your restaurant is one That's of what I like to hear now. Okay. I've had a lot of food, okay? I mean, this is what I do. Okay, wow. This is what I do. I and, like that. And you're just like blowing it out of the park. Tell us what we have right here. This looks like a spare rib. Spare ribs, but that's pork though. Oh, pork spare ribs. Yes. We got onions in the building. Yeah. We got, Ooh. what else we got? We got uh, green, green bell pepper sauce, too. Green bell pepper, red bell pepper. Oh, and look at this. Yes. Nice bite size. Uh, sauce. Ooh. Oh, this is this right here is just amazing. Okay, right, I want you. Bobby's gonna join us on this one. Okay, here we go. First bite. Ooh. Mm. You never had no rib like this in your life. First flavor I get is the tangy barbecue sauce. Okay. Porky, definitely porky. I love how the bone adds flavor to it. And then, and then the spice is starting to creep up. The heat's starting to creep up. Mm -hmm. Now how about pepper? pepper. But the more you dig in, mm -hmm. the more it's staying your tongue. Oh my god. Ooh. Okay. This is so <laughs> good. If you guys like meat, you guys like barbecue, you guys are gonna like this version of barbecue. It's so delicious. Whether you like pork or not, yeah. I make you love pork. Okay. <laughs> if the heat is too much for you, we got some Haitian drinks to wash down the heat. The heat. So, Bobby, tell them what we got. We got this thing called the Toro. Would this, would you say this is like the Haitian version of Red Bull? Ah, uh, there you go, friend. You're coming on the earth, man. You're a different no, this, is, this is 
a Toro. That's a that's Toro. A, that's, a, yeah. nice, that's a bull, right? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Let me give this a try. You're gonna be up all day, all night today. Ooh. It's tasty though. Fruit champagne. Yeah. So this is like what? Like a soda? Mm-hmm. Yeah, just drink soda. it. People call it pop. Pop? Yeah. Alright, let me see what this um, fruit champagne tastes like. Everything that came from Haiti tastes like heaven. You can say I'm lying, bro. Yeah, that's good. It tastes like... I know what it tastes like. What it tastes like. Have you had juicy fruit? Juicy fruit. Juicy fruit gum. Uh-huh. So is them little candy, too. That's right. It tastes like juicy fruit gum and a soda or pop form. So I have a restaurant now, and it's, I have it since February, so... Mm -hmm. And it's been doing well. And so, we're looking forward to move to a new spot soon. Yeah, so that's, what, that's, that's what's happening in 2022, yeah, right? Yeah, 2022, baby. We're coming. Where are you going to head to, do you think? Um, I don't want to disclose the location yet. Okay, it's going to be a secret. Yeah, so you're going to have to, you're you're gonna have to, have to follow. Yeah, you're going to have to follow him on you're his gonna journey. To follow me. Right, he's yeah. on uh, IG and what? Facebook? Uh, Facebook on all the social media. <laughs> Jadarian, J A H D A R R E N underscore, and also my restaurant page is on my bio. You can go ahead and follow us, and anywhere we go, you you gonna get me up there. Guys, I hope you guys enjoy watching this video of Bobby and myself just enjoying some of his cuisine, like Haitian food. I think is is awesome. Exactly. Okay, the it's food so was awesome. lit. It was Would lit. You agree? Right. It was 100%, lit. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Alright guys, <laughs> if you enjoy watching this video, be sure to smash that like button, give me a subscribe, hit that liberty bell so you always get notified when I post videos like this. That's going to do it for today from Bobby and myself on Haitian Cuisine. We're going to see you on the Later. next video. Nature will.